so motorola moto e was the best selling phone not just because it was cheap but also motorola had promised us for date and so here we are with the android lollipop update and basically motorola has done quite a good job they have kept everything the way it should be the notification panel uh, the recent tabs and everything everything is perfect the rom is smooth the battery optimization is perfect as you can see over here everything is kept the way it should be there the only thing that motorola have uh, could have kept was multi user setting i hope you know what multi user setting is it's a function wherein you can enable multiple users you can keep guest login so that you can hand your phone to other people and they won't be able to access your data it's uh, you can keep your phone quite private if you have that setting enabled on your phone and that was one of the uh, good functions that lollipop con uh, had and motorola has removed it i don't know why but still you can enable this function all you need to do is first of first and foremost have lollipop in your phone if you don't have lollipop just go to the description link given below and click on it and you can also find a link over there to root your phone after rooting your phone just go to ES file explorer and you can see that I have enabled a function called as root explorer next thing you need to do is go to device go to system and you can see a build.prop file this file is responsible for everything that happens on your phone you can see over here that last two lines uh, the last line of the build.prop is ro.gps something something and you need to edit this file to enable the multi user settings so i have provided you a link of a new build.prop you just need to copy this file go to device system and paste it over there after this this will enable the function now you can the changes you can see over there there are two more lines that have been added uh, and these two lines are gonna enable the multi user setting on your phone next thing you need to do is click that file go to the permissions go to the properties you can see the permissions over there change it to read write execute for everyone this will make sure that you can execute the file that's it you just need to reboot your phone and you will have a multi user setting enabled on your motorola moto e let me show you this thing So now we have rebooted our phone and now you can go to settings and you can see over there a new option has been enabled called as users and this is what I was expecting Motorola to keep into Android L the multi user setting. Now you can keep you can add multiple profiles and uh, you can have a guest account over here. So if you need to hand over your phone to someone you can just enable the guest account and a total new a total new account will be started and no one can access your private data no one will be able to uh, access your messages your emails and your photos everything will be kept uh, private as you can see over here uh, we have an access to a total new account uh, if you go into gallery uh, you won't be able to see anything and actually i do have many images into my original account you can go your previous account by going into use settings then you can go into users and you can go into the owner account which is over here you can switch to your own account and the moment you switch to your own account you'll be you'll be again able to see your normal apps and all the data that you had in your phone uh, just a go into the ES Explorer and you go into the device you go into the system uh, I recommend you to edit the build.prop using this ES note editor I want you to write these two lines by looking at it or you know just copy paste these two lines click over edit and I want you to write those two lines over here and not uh, you know overwrite the file because when you overwrite the file and you set the permissions there are few things that you need to do instead uh, instead if you just edit the file and then select it go to the permissions and uh, then change this to read write and execute it will work but if you copy paste the file you replace the file I mean then you need to do 
few extra things that are given in the description below go to my blog and refer those if you are replacing the file and if you are just editing it it's uh, quite obvious that you need to change the permissions and reboot your phone so enjoy this new multi-user setting and subscribe to my blog subscribe to my channel and thank you